<laughs> Happy May 1st, baby! You kick all those worries away and then lick them, I guess? And then kick them! Yes, wash your hands. Yes, very good advice, Kiki. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Our roof has a swimming pool now. Bruce is going for a dip in the pool. Oh my god! It is 24 degrees, so I've been told. Bru just dumped a bucket of water over herself. Tom is baking fresh bread, so our house smells like a bakery and it's very good. <laughs> there he is, hi. And I'm basically walking up and down the roof a lot, pretending I'm walking along the beach. Because now the roof is wet and it just feels like... You know, when the tide's out, it's the little things, you know, <laughs> that are getting us through. <laughs> well, good morning. It is the middle of May now, and for the first time in a very, very long time in my life, I have settled into what can loosely be described as a routine. Yeah, um, that's a new one on me, but because I'm not really doing anything very interesting with my time here in lockdown, thought I'd just take this opportunity to walk you through, or rather show you, what this routine looks like. So let's start at the beginning. My routine starts promptly between 9am and 10am in the morning with me going to bed. Good night. <laughs> okay, it is now 4.30pm and I've just started work. I woke up at 3pm, which I guess is like my 9am. So right now it's my 10.30 a.m. and I've had breakfast and now I've started my work, which today is storyboarding. Uh, not for one of my videos, this is actually some of my real life work rather than my personal projects, um, but it's fun. I'm having a nice time and I really enjoy my job. So I'll do that for a couple of hours and then I'll check in with you when it gets to my lunchtime, which is, oh, I don't know, eight o'clock at night. you hate this <laughs> you really hate this 7 30 taking a little break from work in fact i have set an alarm which goes off at seven o'clock every day for me to do a half hour dance break that's partially so i'm doing some kind of exercise that i can do in my room with very little space but it's just also a way to get me away from my computer for like half an hour get my brain doing something else and I'm gonna go have a quick shower and get back to work for a little bit. Okay, I did a little bit of work, but uh, now we're having an impromptu movie night because we canceled yesterday. So we're gonna watch Batman and Robin. It's uh, me, Tom, Charlie, Amy, Dan, back in the old virtual movie club. I didn't think I'd have anything to miss once quarantine is over, but I will miss this. But we could just do it in real life, so I don't know what there would be to miss about it, but I'm having a nice time with it. Okay, keeping my voice down now because other people are asleep. It is 11 o'clock at night. We just finished movie night. So I'm gonna look at that as a extended lunch hour and now going back to work. Did some commissions until about three o'clock in the morning and then I played Minecraft for a couple of hours with Echo and now it is 5.30 in the morning it is sunrise and I'm on my kitchen floor blowing up balloons well 7.30 in the morning of the next day I blew up 7 Happy birthday, Tom. Happy <laughs> birthday. It's your birthday, Crown isn't it? Crown it. Crown it. I'm going home. <laughs> what do you mean it's still going? <laughs> Meanwhile. 
<laughs> Glinda the Good Witch over oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good reference. <laughs> Thank you. I did three. Yeah, you did three with a lot of like. Poof. A lot of effort. <laughs> I like all whimsical. It's like the mountain of marshmallows. Teach, teach me the samba. Go on. Uh, okay. Then you're gonna step here. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do this? Yeah. So the thing with samba is not something we can kind of count. It's about like. Just up so early. You just up so early. Okay, well, it's very warm. <laughs> it's 27 degrees, and I have been craving a bubble tea for, yeah, I would say about 10 weeks. Luckily, for my birthday one year, my brother got me <laughs> this. It is an emergency bubble tea kit. It's got the cups, it's got the tea bags, it's got the flavoured powders. It's even got the popping boba. <laughs> it's certainly no bijou, but it'll do. Three, two, one. Well, I finished that bubble tea in about five minutes flat. I feel renewed. I feel invigorated. I feel like a new person. I didn't realise how much stress I was carrying until the bubble tea lifted it from my shoulders. I sound like I'm exaggerating. I'm really not. Amy had bubble tea stuff too, so she made bubble tea whilst I made bubble tea, and then we drank bubble tea simultaneously, much like we would do every other week in our lives, only we did the lockdown variation of it. I feel weirdly normal and chilled now that I've had my mango milk bubble tea. So simple, but so effective. <laughs> Amy said, bubble tea is in our DNA now and we can't reverse it. That seems a little too close to what could be the truth. Anyway, uh, movie night now. We're gonna watch Kindergarten Cop. Well, uh, it's finally happened. I've, I've leveled up, I've upped the bubble tea game. I ordered Rainbow Boba. Yep, that's where we're at. Oh, lockdown. You make me insane. Amy's tried making tapioca already and it was a roaring success. So she's talked me through it. Look at them go. They floating. They floating real good. And there we have it. The color is not great because the syrup is like a dark red. Three, two, one. Oh, there's Kiki's butt. I got a parcel from Tisha. It's so nice getting mail. Bubble wrap. Tisha, you shouldn't have. Hey, look at that. Yay. Oh, amazing. Authentic maple syrup from my Canadian friend. Thank you, Tisha. for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Put your chest past. Yeah. <laughs>